Hi, my gorgeous, sparkly, juicy, tasty Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and their person. Please show me angels. What's going on for Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Also, Aquarius, with these you versus them readings, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person. Summon, summon in the water, or you know what I'm saying. Um, and if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel i'm sorry i'm running out of breath already i'm so excited to see you baby uh if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you uh and i see you baby give me a kiss mm. Oh my God, I'm so discombobulated today. It's Monday. I don't know. It is what it is. Blonde day. Okay, Aquarius. You know I love you. Uh, you and you know, look, if you're not new to the channel, you know I forget my own intros and outros. And I also love you very much. You are my favorites, Aquarius. You're my little favorites, boo -boo. So, uh, you got the prince of, you really are my favorites. I'm always dating an Aquarius, friends with an Aquarius. You know how it is. Uh, prince of Wands. <sighs> Oh boy, and you know what? Two cards came out for how this person sees you because there's, a, I feel like there's like a layer to how this person is. There's like very interesting energy here. There's a one way that your person wants to see you, the, you know, what they would like to be the case, and then there's the truth of the matter that they're trying not to see because they know that they're guilty. Uh, Pr Prince of Wands is someone who's really immature. It can be a player. I do think you were dealing with a player, but Bill, I do think this is a time of silence and separation right now with the Hermit. Could be a ghosting, could be a separation. Uh, you know, from a more, of uh, it could be uh, an established connection, bimbo himbo, we'll see from Tinder, anyone in between. Uh, yeah, someone's, you know, someone's moved away here though. You know, I do see moving on and separation here with the Six of Swords and the Hermit. Let's see. But this is a player that you were dealing with and they want to think that you're okay, but you know, you know that you're not because they they try to play you. They try to hurt your heart. Not that this person has so much power over you, but it's just that, you know, what they did was not okay and made, and made you sad and they want to think, oh, I, I bet Aquarius is fine because, you know, I bet Aquarius is like playing the game as well. I bet Aquarius is going to, you know, they just don't want to take responsibility for, for what they did to you. Or it's the kind of person who like stabs you in the back and then says, oh, you're strong. You'll be okay. You'll be, you'll get through this. You know, you'll get through that. <laughs> Seven of Swords here in their intentions. You know, this is someone who wants to get away with something. It's someone who would like to come at you with an apology and, and gaslight you with that apology into forgiving them. Uh, it's someone who's not done with you. It's someone who's trying to change uh, the situation currently between the two of you. We've got the Wheel of Fortune Aquarius, boo boo. So this person would like to change things, you know, despite being a douche food. They want to hypnotize you into thinking you're not a douche flip and they want to come back in and change the situation. So whatever uh, separation or pause there is on the connection, they want that to end. Let's see. But it's because they were a player. This is a player. This is someone who was fresh. They were a little too fresh. All right. I don't know why, why that word fresh. That word, that word came up in one of the one of readings yesterday. I was like, what the heck is that? Um, you know why? I think someone said that to me once. Like on like an actual bum, like an actual bumble person or someone. I was like, well, that's a little fresh. I was like, oh, that's a little odd to, thing to say. Okay. Anyway. Uh I shouldn't be allowed on the dating apps because I'm just so like if someone's rude to me like I like I go for it but I just use it as improv you know like improv for my comedy or something okay anyway oh, I need to that's like I guess that's why I'm single with boo because I think it's funnier to troll these these some of these people than it is to date them okay but only the rude ones. Like, I'm really nice to the nice people, baby. Don't get scared. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aquarius. I'm so sorry. I, we, de we Everyone does it, though, don't they? Four of Cups. Rejection. Loneliness. Look, the hermit twice, okay? This pretty bad situation. Secrets. The high priestess. All right? This person is bad news. I'm going to tell you that. There's a lot of deviousness here. Secrets and bad news. I wouldn't trust... I, this is the kind of... If this is a himbo bimbo from Tinder, all right? You met on a Tuesday. Anyone in between? Use this as improv material and just troll them because I don't like these people. I don't like these people at all. What is going on here? Person who had a secret, you know, they kept you isolated from the truth. There was, uh, they rejected your beautiful love, you know, and rejection can take shape m many, you know, take shape in many different ways, many forms, right? Uh, they made you feel not enough. They made you feel not so good. They didn't make you feel special. All right. They rejected you. 
Someone try to hide the truth from you. Someone try to play you, boo boo. This is a player. I don't like this person. I think I think deletion from the database might be the way to go. Let's see. Yeah, look, more lies and gaslighting. This is a gaslighter in size, and it is a player. You know, that's a player. They, you know, they would like to jump back into your life because they want to play with you some more, but they just can't do it because Aquarius is not stupid. If it, there's anything that Aquarius has, it's not stupid, blah, 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 all right? You see through their BS, you're like, no, 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 stop, okay? So, yeah, there's, like, a lot going on here. This person's lying. If it was a more established connection, if it was, like, a marriage of 20 years, whatever, this person had so many lies in this connection. You felt alone. You felt they neglected you emotionally in every kind of a way. Maybe even in the bedroom, they neglected you. You were just alone. You felt it was a constant series of constant rejections, not feeling, feeling good about the situation. It's because this person, it's this person was emotionally checked out. There's something, you know, it's, it's, it, it if it's a bimbo himbo from Tinder, it's a player. But if it was an established relationship, it's far more than that. It's just someone who's like just running away from themselves here with this. Um, did you see my hair on the card? I'm so sorry. It's disgusting. My hair, it's bleach hair. It is what it is. But yeah, it's someone who's running away from themselves. You know, it's someone who doesn't want to face themselves. So they can't face their emotions with you. They can't work things out with you. It was a very, very sad. Uh, baby, I'm not going to lie. This was a very, very sad connection for you because this person didn't make you feel special. And this person, even though they know you're special, they didn't make you feel special because they don't know how to show their feelings. There could be past trauma, secrets about their past to here, right? Mm, right by the high priestess right behind her there are secrets uh so this person just doesn't want to tell you yeah won't tell me what the secrets are actually because i asked and it just said secret secret i said what kind of secrets and it said secrets <laughs> the fool tell me more Everything, uh, giving attention to other people, money, uh, who they are, everything from soul level to money level. It's just all kinds of secrets. This person won't want to tell you much about themselves. They don't want to disclose a lot of what they were doing. You know, they just didn't tell you about, uh, they just didn't communicate with you in, in the connection. Bread crumbing, bread crumbing, bread crumbing. A lot of that, a lot of secrets. This person didn't want to show you their soul. They're trying to come back in. They're trying to change the situation. They're hoping you're going to accept them, but they know that they have to make a super, super big effort with them. Um, in terms of timing, I'm not sure when that can happen. It could happen in October this year. could happen by the end of the year. You know, Wheel of Fortune. It could also be New Year, you know, New Year celebrations by the end of the year. I feel like this person is, will try and come back and, and work it out. But it's up to you, Aquarius, if you want this person or not. I don't know. It's all about free will on this channel. I'm just a random person on the internet with an inflatable alien in the back. That's my boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, not. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, boo boo, I love you so much, my darling Aquarius. Um, and, and let me know in the comments below if this is your story. And also, don't forget to like the video. And if you vibe with my videos, um, and you like my channel, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button. Uh, and also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. Uh, also, quick announcement, announcement, if you have any Scribio in your chart, or if you're dealing with a Scribio, oh my god, did you see that? I just hit, like, my entire table, just, like, I just hit myself so bad <laughs> in my elbow. Oh my god. Uh, if you have any Scribio in your chart, uh, like Sun, Moon, Rising, or your Venus, or if you're de dealing with a Scribio, why not check out my friend, a Gondora official. She is my sister from another mister. She is linked in the uh, description box below under friendly channels. She does daily Scorpio readings. All right. And they're incredible. I watch her. I go to, to her for advice. Okay. So if you got Scorpio in your chart, check her out. Tell her you came. Tell her I sent you with a message of love and uh, tell her that she's beautiful because she is sparkly and moisturized. <laughs> <laughs> boo boo I love you so much my darling Aquarius you have no clue I'm so grateful and um just so like I, I don't know like speechless I'm speechless that you choose to spend your time with me my baby have a wonderful night if it's nighttime have a wonderful morning it's, if it's morning uh I'll see you tomorrow boo boo uh take care of yourself and may the angels protect you oh and stay sparkly and moisturized <laughs>